mentioned uh, you mentioned earlier this morning about enjoying suffering. Could you yes. elaborate on oh, that? Oh, yes. That's, that's very important. Thank you for bringing back to me about it. Okay, a friend of yours says this to you. I'm a nothing. I'll never amount to anything. Look at I'm an assistant clerk at age 45. And my brother's a head of his company. And my sister is a top attorney. And, and I'm a nothing. Okay? Now, to enjoy this person's suffering, we have to release ourselves from two kinds of responsibility. First, that we didn't cause the pain. And we want to release ourselves from that, especially when the other person is trying to make us believe we did cause the pain. See, so if this person had started, and you're at fault for all of this, why am I not? Especially when the person says that, we do not want to in any way think we caused this person's pain. Because you can't cause another person's psychological pain. Well, in this case, the person wasn't saying that, so that's pretty easy to... In, liberate ourselves from feeling responsible. But the second one is the hard one. To think we have to fix it. To make the person feel better. The more we think it's our job to make a person feel better, the more we're going to make it worse. Because you can't fix people. The good news is you don't have to. There is a very powerful healing energy always available if we don't block it. And how do we block that energy? By trying to fix things ourselves. So how do we help that energy do the job? By empathy. And empathy requires presence, just to be present. When we are just present, when we are remembering the Buddha's advice, don't do something, stand there. When we do that, and that energy works through us. There is a precious connection between that person and us. And that precious connection is what I mean by enjoy the pain. To enjoy that precious connection. And whether this person is feeling joy or pain, if we are present there with them, that's what I mean. But we block that beautiful energy whenever we step in and think we have to fix things. So if we say, oh, there, there, you'll feel better, it'll get over, we make it worse. When we start to give advice, we make it worse. So what does that look like? So you're feeling really discouraged and really would like to have achieved more in your life at this moment than you've done. Yes, yes, I've had every opportunity, and look at me, I've just never made use of anything. You know. So you're really discouraged and frustrated and uh, would really have liked to have made different use of some things than you have. Yeah. See, I'm just present. I'm not trying to fix it. And when that happens, there's a very precious connection. That's what I mean by enjoy that. And that precious connection does the healing. Not your advice, not your whatever. Yes? Can you clarify the distinction between empathizing and sort of encouraging and supporting the soap opera of, you know, somebody who is, um, somebody who's suffering. And sometimes by being there, it's sort of a subtle encouragement as opposed to... Um, the subtle well, encouragement that I think you're talking about comes about when this person is talking about what happened to them for the 50th time you've heard exactly. the story. So if I'm really listening to them, I don't hear what they talk about about the past. Because I know that the more they talk about the past, the less healing will take place. Right. So I interrupt. Mm -hmm. But I interrupt to bring the conversation to life. They're talking about the past, and I interrupt and I say, excuse me, but it sounds like right now you're still feeling hurt because your need for respect wasn't met in that. See, because just letting them talk about the past and asking them questions about what happened about the past is to just keep the soap opera going. So I interrupt when they talk about the past because we don't heal by talking about the past. We heal by talking about what's alive in us right now, stimulated by the past. 
but it's what's here now. And when I connect at that level, they won't keep talking about it. They'll heal. Last question, and then I'm going to get into uh, the subject that I'd like to cover before the end. Yes. Um, I, 